this XD animation tutorial, we're going to be learning how to design a toggle switch that lets you flip between light mode and dark mode in XD. So I've got my artboard already open here and I'm going to start out by drawing a rectangle and applying a color that I want to be using for my light mode, so slightly gray. And then I'm going to copy the light mode version of my screen that I already have prepared and place it in the center of my artboard. Now I'm going to start drawing the toggle switch design. It really helps to google examples of other toggle switches if you aren't too sure how to design your own and that's what I did in advance as well. I'm going to apply an inner shadow to it just to add a bit more depth to the design as well. But I'm going to keep it pretty simple, decrease the opacity of the shadow as well so it's not too opaque. I'm going to then grab my two moon and sun icons that are going, I'm going to use to represent light mode and dark mode, so sun being light mode and the moon being dark mode. I'm going to grab my sun design and place it in my toggle. Since our first artboard is going to be representing our light mode design, we're going to be starting out with the sun icon and then transitioning to have the moon icon up here. I'm now drawing an ellipse that I'm going to use as the switch part of my toggle. In terms of color, because I want to represent light mode, I'm just going to go with a yellow. But you could really go with anything else that you wanted and then just adjust the sizing as well so it looks as intended. Um, and then obviously decreasing the size of your switch too, just playing around with it until it looks um, exactly as you'd like. Now that I feel happy with how it looks, I'm going to grab my moon icon. I'm just going to make sure that size-wise it is the same height as the sun icon for consistency. And I also want to make sure they both have the same border sizing as well, just so that also remains consistent too. I'm going to place the moon icon behind my yellow ellipse because I only want that to appear when we switch to dark mode. Now that I've done that, I'm going to duplicate the rectangle I had drawn initially and then change it to be a more darker color and this is going to be the color that the switch turns into for the dark mode version. So I'm going to want to increase the opacity of my inner shadows so that they can be seen more clearly against the darker background. You'll also notice that you can kind of see a thin line of the dark mode switch background so I'm going to actually make it completely transparent so set the opacity to zero as well in light mode that way you don't see it at all and then in dark mode it would be 100 percent opacity and vice versa for the light switch as well now that that's done i'm going to group them and duplicate my artboard and in my second artboard i'm going to rearrange the elements to show what my switch would look like in light mode as well So for the switch ellipse, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to set the light switch background to zero opacity and the dark switch light background to 100%. And as for the switch color, I'm going to go with like a bluish purplish color just to represent nighttime. Um, you know, but really um, is, is not too much of a factor what you go with. And then I'm going to change the color of my moon icon to actually white so it can be seen against the background. Also, I want to decrease the size of the hidden icons with each switch. So in dark mode, it's the sun icon and in light mode, it's the moon icon. Just so there's more of a depth to the animation, you can see the icon kind of increase in size and pop out as you transition between modes. I also want to make sure the positioning of my icons is the same in both artboards. So that's kind of just going back and forth between the two to make sure that they are in alignment. So before I move on with bringing in my dark mode screen, I'm just going to test out the prototype to see if the switch works as intended. Make sure to set your animation action type to auto animate 2 and play around with the duration. So yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Kind of functions as intended, which is exactly what we want. So that's great. I like to kind of play it like a lot of times to be sure that I like the way the animation looks, but you, you don't have to do that either. I'm just very finicky. So when I was playing around the animation, I kind of noticed something else that I wanted to do. I want the icons to actually move towards the inner of the switch when we're transitioning. So it appears as if they're being hidden 
into the ellipse as it transitions along. So that's what I did for both the sun and moon icon. And now I think that's fine. So I'm going to bring in the dark mode version of my screen that I had already prepared beforehand. Make sure positioning wise it's in the same place as the light mode screen. I am going to draw another rectangle now. And this is the rectangle I'm going to be using as a mask for my screen. So I'm just going to decrease the size. I don't want it to take up the full length and width of my artboard. Remove the border, although it doesn't matter too much. And then I'm going to select both the dark mode screen image. I'm just renaming my layers now because I already have two layers named light switch and dark switch. And then after selecting the rectangle on top and the dark mode screen, I mask them. And before I hide my dark mode screen in my first artboard, I'm going to duplicate the screens onto my second artboard so they're in the exact same position and have the same layer names too. Also, you want to make sure positioning in each of your artboards is also the same. So where each layer is in your hierarchy, it helps if they're also exactly equal. I'm now going to duplicate the rectangle for my background and create another copy that's darker to represent the dark mode version of my screen. Um, just adjust with it so it's not super dark but dark enough to represent um, dark mode for this particular effect. And once that is done, I'm going to copy it over to my second artboard. And in my first artboard, I am going to decrease the length of it, or I guess it's width, <laughs> just so we want it to transition and fill up the artboard when we do transition to dark mode. So I'm going to decrease the width and then move it slightly off the artboard as well. I'm also going to change my mask group rectangle shape so it's a lot narrower, which means that it completely hides the dark mode image too. Now that that's done, I'm going to remove the original prototype um, effect that I have and replace it with a tap effect on the actual switch. And then preview. And just like that, you have a really cool light mode, dark mode effect for your design.